All right, so for our last dish of today, we're going to make the best non-Chinese takeout that you're going to have. Now, the reason that we're including this in Strategic Cuisine's Cheating is because uh, this is a great recipe for substituting things. So, and substitutes are fundamentally cheats for not having what you need. So you're going to need for this recipe a couple of things. You're going to need some ground pork or ground chicken or something of the sort. You're going to need some soy sauce, some hot sauce of some variety. Uh, garlic chili paste is the uh, classic. You notice this is only chili paste. And you'll need some brown sugar. That's, and then you'll also need noodles. I've got, got ramen noodles here and some um, peanuts. You can also add vegetables to this recipe if you would like. In terms of uh, tools, you're going to need a bowl to cook your noodles in, a uh, mixing cup or something to mix your uh, liquid ingredients in, a measuring cup if you care, and a pan, a uh, skillet of some size, some sort. So go ahead and to, to start this off, we're just going to uh, mix our um, sauce up really quickly. So you're going to need a quarter cup of soy sauce, bar, uh, brown sugar, and uh, garlic chili paste. Now, I don't really recommend putting in a full cup, a full quarter cup of the garlic chili paste unless you really, really, really like hot stuff. You don't need a full quarter cup of that. But go ahead and do a quarter cup of your brown sugar first. And if you don't quite have a quarter cup of brown sugar, that's okay. If you just go ahead, take it, and throw it into your mixing container. Then do your soy sauce. If you don't have soy sauce, you could use hoisin and add some water to it. You could use teriyaki. Uh, any of that would be fine. Just go ahead, dump that in and then add your garlic chili sauce. If you are using uh, actual garlic chili sauce, you, like I said, the recipe calls for a quarter cup. Don't use a quarter cup, use less. Uh, I'm just gonna use like a, a teaspoon of this. If you don't like garlic chili sauce, you could leave this out entirely. You could throw in um, powdered garlic. You could throw in um, powdered ginger, fresh garlic, fresh ginger. It really does not matter. Um, if I can get this open. There we go. Original recipe calls for a quarter cup. I'm just gonna put in two teaspoons full. Stir. The sauce is done. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is cook our pork. So go ahead and turn your stove on to a medium, medium high. So medium is a five, medium high would be six, it would be seven to eight. Uh, and then let that heat. I'm gonna make, make my thing a little bit larger. Oh, uh, if you're cooking with chicken, you might wanna throw some oil in, but if you're cooking with ground pork, you probably don't need to. So our process for this is literally, we're gonna cook our ground pork. While the ground pork is cooking, we're gonna cook our noodles and then we're gonna pour in our sauce. So while that's heating, I'm gonna take my noodles, I'm gonna open them up, and I've just got cheapy ramen noodles here, and I'm gonna throw the ramen noodles themselves into my bowl. I'm gonna to wait to fill this until I put the pork in because I don't want noodles to get too soft. And now, since I'm also waiting here for a minute, I'm gonna take some of my peanuts. I could either use these peanuts whole or I can crush them. And as we learned, you can use many different ways of crushing peanuts. But uh, my favorite is to just do it by brute force of some variety. So I'm just gonna take these, put them on a plate, and crush them. Um, now, since I happen to have 
whole bunch of things out here on the counter with which I could choose to crush them. I'm just going to crush them with the bottom of my soy sauce container. If you don't have peanuts, you can sub with cashews or um, leave them off entirely. There we go. These are just a topping. That's done. Now my pan is beginning to get hot, so I'm going to take my ground pork, open it up, and throw it into my pan. I will want a spoon to stir this. If you are working with a um, non-stick pan like, like I am, you want to make sure you do not use a metal utensil. Use wooden or uh, some other utensil type. So, wooden spoon works perfectly. So I'm just going to break this apart in my pan. So it's in small pieces and let that cook. This is going to be the longest part of this recipe. It's going to take me yeah, five, maybe ten, ten minutes at the most um, if you break this up. And uh, if your stuff is already broken up, uh, then it's going to be a little bit faster. So as you can see, I've got my pork uh, and I'm just breaking it up into smaller and smaller pieces. The more it cooks, the easier that's going to be. Easier also if you have something with an actual edge. So when the pork gets to about this level of cooking, let's give it a little bit more light. When it gets about to this level of cooking, you can see it's not, there's still some pinkness. Uh, it's not done yet. We're going to let this keep cooking. But when it gets to about this point, now we want to throw our um, ramen noodles into the microwave. So I'm just going to add some water. Add some water to the ramen noodles. And put them in the microwave for five minutes. All right. All right. So my pork, my my um, ramen noodles are going to take a couple minutes here. Still, uh, the pork has a fair amount of, of uh, fat in it. Depending on how much there is, if you use like a low fat pork or low fat chicken, uh, you might be okay, or you might need to drain it. If you do need to drain it, you can't pour this down the sink. Make sure that you pour it into a, um, uh, a metal container, because otherwise you'll end up with uh, a fire, potentially. But you really don't want all this, so um, let's just go ahead and drain some of our fat out. All right, so this is much less fatty. So I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. Now, uh, if I'm gonna throw in some uh, vegetables, this will be a good time to do it, especially if they're fresh veggies, but uh, you can also throw um, your frozen vegetables in at this time. All right, we'll let this sit and get our noodles out of here. You take a fork, maybe two, just to make sure these come apart. They come apart beautifully. Stir them up a little bit, separate them apart. Let them sit for about a minute. If you're using a different kind of noodle, like um, uh, any non-Asian noodle, um, the cooking feel might be a little bit different. Do it in small batches, say uh, three minutes and then stir and then another two minutes and stir and test and then another one minute and stir and test if you're using something more like a penne noodle or something like that or um, spaghetti. So we're not going to add the liquid that's in this to our noodle to our dish. We're just going to go with the noodles. And so I'm going to pour out the liquid. And 
enough that I can handle it. Caution, this is hot. And just go ahead and take them and split them into your dish. Stir. And then comes the next to last step of our dish. We want our sauce. Give it another good stir. And dump. Now you're just going to stir everything together. Put it on plates and add your peanuts. If you want to, you can use some uh, green onions on top for extra color and a little bit extra flavor. You can throw those in right at the end if you want to continue, if you want to stir fry those as well. That, uh, that works as well. So just, you want to get this all stirred up so that everything is nice and blended and everything has plenty of the sauce on it and it's been through the sauce. And then let it cook for about a minute uh, or two to let the sauce um, thicken up a little bit. And then as soon as it has done that, you are done with your Chinese dish. So here you are, it looks good. So now we just need to serve this out.